I can't thank you all enough for coming out with comments on the colitis. I'm not sure how many of you know exactly what inflammatory bowel diseases are, but they're consisted of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and it's basically an autoimmune disease that attacks the intestinal lining um, of the small intestine, large intestine, and they actually can affect anywhere from the mouth all the way to the rectum. So they can be pretty debilitating. Um, if anybody has ever had the stomach flu, just imagine having the stomach flu for basically months at a time sometimes. Um, long hospital stays, surgeries, infections, you have to go on a lot of medicine, sometimes 16, 20 pills a day. They're not exactly easy things to live with, and that's why we want to try to improve people's lives, help those with Crohn's disease, help those with ulcerative colitis, to live a better life and show them that they can do whatever they want with these diseases. So a little bit about what the Intense Intestines Foundation is about. Is, uh, it's trying to get people up off the couch and show them that they can ski, hike, uh, <coughs> do all kinds of different activities with these diseases if they do the right planning and preparation first. Uh, one of the activities that we have going on right now is I'm actually hiking the 46 high peaks in the Adirondacks, which is about eight times, uh, altitude-wise, it's about eight times of Mount Everest. Um, and it's a really long time. It's going to take a lot of effort. And it's not exactly easy to go on day-long hikes where you're summoning two or three peaks at a time with these diseases. But like I said, with the right planning and preparation, you can do it. You don't have to necessarily stay next to a bathroom your entire life. So another thing that we have going on that's coming up is uh, a group of people, including me, we're actually going to be biking from New York City to Boston as well. Wow. And that's going to be at the end of October. So we're really excited about that. Should be a lot of fun. I'm not that much of a biker, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're to start somewhere, so you might as well start from New York City to Boston. Um, and it should be it should be a really cool trip. It's going to take us about three days, and we have some people driving along with us that are you know going to get to the place where we're going to sleep the night before and prep things for us, so we have a little bit of comfort at the end of the day. So I've already talked about Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis a little bit, so I'll just let you know what ostomies are for anybody who might not. Um, if you've ever heard of somebody living with a bag or a pouch, that's what an ostomy is. And basically what it is, when you have these diseases really badly and you have to have surgery after surgery, they have to remove a portion of your intestine, and then you actually have to live with a little bit of a pouch on your side, and you basically go to the bathroom into that pouch. And it's not exactly ideal, but it gives you your life back. It allows me to do things like hiking the 46 peaks, like biking from New York City to Boston, and it allows me to enjoy the activities that I love and allows people to live their life when they have these diseases. So it's actually a really beneficial thing for many, many people. Uh, unfortunately, there's a little bit of a stigma that goes along with having an ostomy, but it really shouldn't. We all have to go to the bathroom, right? Who's going to the bathroom here today? <laughs> exactly. exactly. I, just, I just go a little bit differently. It's not that big a deal at all. So we're trying to help those with ostomies as well. So what you're all helping out here tonight is the Intense Intestine Scholarship. Our goal is to help people in an area that isn't really covered right now in the ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and ostomy uh, world. There's a lot of kids' camps. There's a lot of research going into finding a cure for these diseases. But if you have these diseases, either in a moderate or severe way, it is almost impossible to finish school within four years. It's just not, it's not able to be done. So our goal is to help those young adults with these diseases pay for higher education and help them out through years because it's really more realistic to finish in five, six, seven, eight, or plus years when you have these diseases. You have to take incomplete withdrawals. You have to miss entire semesters. So you're really helping out the Intense Intelligence Scholarship Fund, and you're going to help people uh, get their higher education with these diseases and help them through uh, their college experience. So I can't thank you guys enough. Some of you, unfortunately, know Chris and Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize for yes. that. But uh, they're comedians. They've been all over the world. They're actually going to be in Scotland next week for a comedy festival. I uh, am unfortunately uh, know them as well. I asked them to do a comedy show for my foundation. They jumped at the chance. So without further ado, Chris and Paul, everybody.
you don't have, you have what it takes. Say it. You have what it takes. Say it again. I have what it takes. Look in here. You tell yourself that. Say it. I have what it takes. Say it. I have what it takes. That concludes another Bring Your Child to Work Day. <laughs>
two, me three. <laughs> Hey, I got an idea. What? You guys want to go play with my dad's gun? Yeah! Come on, let's go! <laughs> this is just great! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 Surgeons on speed dial. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> 
I had an ostomy. I'll never have to wipe my ass again. <laughs> So are we still doing the buffalo wing challenge tonight? <laughs> 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 the purpose of this. I don't know. It's okay, we keep going. It's okay. <laughs> 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 you gotta be calling kidding me! <laughs> I'm not an insomniac, I'm a pregnizomniac. <laughs> My butt produces corn. Pure corn. <laughs> Bathroom, I'll find it. <laughs> 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 